Hey, what's up? This is Dan One Tech here with the tutorial on how to port forward your Minecraft server. So I've gotten a lot of requests lately from people asking me to do this video because they're trying to set up their Minecraft servers to play with their friends across the internet and they can't do that unless they port forward. So if you didn't know, port forwarding basically adds an exception to your router's firewall to allow certain computers or connections in from the public internet through your router to access certain devices or computers on your local network. And in this case, it'll be the computer that's hosting our Minecraft server. So there are thousands of different routers out there and they all have slightly different Different configurations and different user interfaces so unfortunately I won't be able to show you guys exactly how to port forward on your particular router because they vary so much so I'm going to show you guys an example on my particular router which is a Zytel router how to port forward on that and hopefully you can use that as an example and figure out your own router too so before we start just make sure you have a Minecraft server set up and ready to go so you can test with afterwards and if you haven't set one up yet make sure you check out my two tutorials right here how to set up a Minecraft server on Windows and on a Mac and uh, once you have the server set up just make sure you have a router that you want to port forward with and uh, also note that this is independent of any operating system so it doesn't matter if you have Windows, Mac or Linux because you're not using your computer you're using the router itself so let's go So before we start, it's important to make sure that the computer that's hosting your Minecraft server has to have a static IP address on your local network. It can't have a dynamic IP address. Dynamic IP addresses change probably every day. Static IP addresses never change. So it has to have a static one because if you have a dynamic one, once you set a port forwarding rules, the IP address changes again and you have to set a port forwarding rules all over again every time it changes, which is very awkward. So having a static IP address means it won't ever change. So you'll only need to set a port forwarding once. So check out the link in the description for a tutorial on how to set up a static IP on Windows, Mac and Linux. Once you have that done, you're ready to port forward. So I want to port forward my Minecraft server. The first thing I'm going to do is go straight to portforward.com to find out exactly how to port forward on my particular router model. And I'll talk a bit more about this website later. So on the left hand side, just choose your router brand. Mine is Zyxel, so it'll be down the very bottom. Choose that and then choose your router model. And if they don't have your particular one, just choose one that's roughly like it, which is this one for me. And click search. So now you should see a list of tutorials available for your router model. So just click M for Minecraft. It'll scroll down and just choose Minecraft server from the list here. And here's the tutorial for your router model. And I could follow this, but I already know how to port forward on my router model. So you need to follow this, follow that, and that's how to port forward. So I'm just going to go to my login page here. So I'll enter my password and click login. So once I log in, I'm now on my router's status page, but of course, if you don't know how to access your router's page, if you don't know what address it's at, try these two default IP addresses, 192.168.1.1 or 0.1.254. Type those into your address bar, and if your router comes up, great, log in. If it doesn't, it could be something completely different, so click the link down below for a tutorial on how to find your router's local IP address. So on my router to access port forwarding, I just have to click Network in the left-hand pane here, and click NAT and click the port forwarding tab. And here is the port forwarding rules list. So as you can see, I already have one port forwarding rule set up. This one is for transmission, which is a Mac app. And this basically allows me to access the web interface of that app from anywhere in the world. So to add a new rule, I just click this and click user define. And in here, just make sure to take the active box to activate this rule. And then I just type in the name for the rule. So in my case, it just would be Minecraft server, I suppose. And for the start port and end port, it should just be by default 25565 for Minecraft. Unless you've changed it in the server.properties file, check your server.properties to see if you change it. If it's just blank, it's just the default, but you shouldn't need to change it really. So the server IP address is just the IP address of the computer that's hosting your Minecraft server. So in my case, it's 192.168.1.10. And uh, for the port translation, the start port and end port should just be the same 25565. And there we go. So to add this, I just click apply and the rule has been added to my list. So you now have port forwarding set up and depending on your router, you might have to restart it to apply those settings. So now we're gonna test in Minecraft to see if it did work. So let's close down Minecraft and open your Minecraft server. I'm gonna open mine here with start.command. And while that's opening, let's go into Safari and find our public IP address. And the public IP address is the IP address that your router has outside on the public internet. And that's needed obviously to connect in because now we've port forwarded, it'll work. So the easiest way to find your public IP address is just to type into Google, my IP address, hit enter, and here it is right here. So just copy this, and then in Minecraft, click multiplayer, click add server, type in a name for the server and in server address, paste in that IP address. Click done, and as you can see, the server is working. 
So once you know your port forwarded public server works, you can give that IP address to your friends so they can connect to it from within Minecraft. Now there is one problem with these public IP addresses and it's that they are usually also dynamic. Most home users are only permitted to have dynamic ones with static addresses reserved for large companies and customers willing to pay a hefty fee. So provided you leave your router switched on, it will change at least once per week. Now I'm not going to go through this in detail today, but what you need to set up to combat this is something called dynamic DNS. You'll be given a URL to use instead of a numeric IP address, and that will always point to your Minecraft server no matter how often your IP address changes, because the purpose of dynamic DNS is to track the changes. So instead of giving your friends your new IP address each week, you only have to give them this URL once, and it'll always point to the right place. So click the tutorial link in the description after you watch this video to learn how to set up dynamic DNS. So that is just an example I had to port forward on my particular router. Hopefully you guys found this helpful and hopefully you can figure out your routers too because they can be a bit dodgy. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you check out portforward.com which is a brilliant website on how to port forward on pretty much any router out there. Just select your router and then select what app you're trying to set up. In this case it'll be a Minecraft server. So it'll just tell you exactly how to port forward on your router. So check that out. The link is in the description. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time and subscribe. <laughs> I messed that up.